the fiscal year variance we were sent to our company codes respectively right yes sir uh, just a recap what is a fiscal year and what are the special periods fiscal year is the year which is a 12 months a period 12 period mm -hmm. and it also in involves a specific uh, period special special periods special periods is uh, other than uh, the 12 periods in which we will record the uh, transactions or any statements which we have missed in the special periods but it in, it will be connected to the end uh, last date of the closed fiscal year okay where you see the reflection of uh, special period post times in which period fiscal year sir no the special Twelve period ah uh, special uh, 12 uh, special period post times we could see in a 12th period right yes sir so while posting into special periods always we have to give the posting date and document date as the last date of closed fiscal year right yes sir okay uh what is the uh, relations for a fiscal year variant can we assign fiscal year variant one to many company codes um one yes, fiscal sir. one fiscal year go on go on uma devi you are trying to say something tell me one fiscal year can be assigned to one company code sir okay if needed we can assign to similar multiple company codes right yes sir but one company code can have only one fiscal year variant right yes sir okay done next is we have to create posting period posting period variant what is it this is a physical year it's it's a complete set for your 12 periods okay now coming to the one more variant we call it as a posting period variant posting period variant why we need is now tell me yes, yes we have a 12 periods in a business real time right Yes, sir. Uh, will we uh, allow the will we al allow the users to post the business transactions in any period? No, If sir. Wish to post? Can he post in a period one, two, three, four, five, six, or a twelve, as no. per his wish? No, sir. Why? Because it will be recorded longly. Like the data will not be efficient. Uh, like real whenever the transaction or anything take place it should be recorded when it is taken place no sir like accurate data we need okay so anyway it will capture in any of a period right among the 12 periods it will be accurate only right yes sir you have a book you can write in any page right it no, will sir. be in your book only right tell me why how it will be is let's say if you are doing a business let's say you are in a uh, what february right february is your 11th period in the fiscal year 2022 right yes sir any business transaction happens in a february those business transactions you have to record in a 11th period only not in a 10th period not in a 12th period right Yes, sir. You you should not record like that. If at all user try to record eleventh uh, period transactions in a tenth period or maybe in a future period, twelfth period, which is not started yet, if he try to do it, system should not allow him, right? A accidentally, if he want to try also, system should not allow. System always have to restrict him to post in a current period, current period or a current month. We are in a February. February reads for Indian company code as a eleventh period. So in any transaction, if you want to post, system should allow an Indian company code eleventh period only when you are in a February. 
if you jump to march month when you are in march month that time system should read automatically march is a 12th period for indian company code right yes sir if you do current month previous month transactions or a current month transactions in a future or a past if you do like this combination this is not a right accounting right you are yes. not following the right accounting principles audit department also will not accept this income tax department also if they audit you now hey you are in a 11th period why you are post a transaction in a 12th period maybe last month the invoice why you are posting uh, this month so you you mean to say you are not following the right accounting procedure right yes sir so if you miss to post anything related to last month so whatever you profit or a loss you arrive for that particular month is wrong right yes sir when it will be accurate when you complete with all the postings pertain to that month then your uh, external reports are correct otherwise wrong right yes sir that is the reason real time accountants will complete their monthly work by end of a month okay they'll say uh, they'll see which is missing they'll do all the work and they'll max complete the monthly portion if at all one or two invoices they miss to post or they miss uh, they receive late that kind of entries they'll adjust in a current month how that process will discuss when we post the transactions now you got it among the 12 periods which period you want to control which period you want to open you need a some point right to have a configuration yes sir yes, sir. this posting period variant will help to have a control okay yes sir now while defining the posting period variant this we call it as a ppv okay yes sir ppv in a sense posting Post period variant right yes sir yes sir for each company code we will create one individual ppv and assign the same to respective cc and the company uh, cc means company code okay yes sir okay now why we have to create for each company code one posting period variant and dedicatedly we have to assign to respective company code what does it mean is we have a company code let's say in 90 right yes sir and us 90 so as for my statement in this case i need to create a ppv also same us 90 sorry this is in 90 plus and this is us 90 same name i have told to use right yes sir create with the same name and assign also accordingly it will right yes sir why means this is april to march right yes sir april to march physical year for indian company code for us company code what is the physical year jan to december right yes yes sir following okay yes sir so simple logic If I have a PPV for a both of them, if I have a one, either I can have a April to March, either I can have a Jan to December, right? Yes, sir. If I create a PPV one, you think if I create either April to March, if I create the same, I assign to Indian company code, it's okay. For Indian company code, it's fine. Same PPV variant, if I assign to US, so it will be problem, right? Yes, sir. Indian company code. I will open a eleventh uh, period, which is a February is eleventh period, current period, right? Yes, sir. But for uh, US company code, it's not eleventh period. February is February is which period? Second period, right? Yes, sir. That is the reason to avoid a confusion. If you have a separate posting period variant for IN ninety in February, I'll I'll open system eleventh period. Okay. Yes, sir. With this, I can easily open eleventh period. For this, I can open second period, right? Yes, sir. 
so that what happens you can have a clarity and the accounting will work rightly that is the reason you should have dedicatedly real time if we have a hundred company codes we create with the same name why we have to use the same name for ppb is to not to get a confusion right yes sir that is the reason you have to use the same name and how many company codes you have we create those many posting period variants and assign them accordingly okay yes sir you see here only this is a logic to have a ppv let later we have a open and close period step there you will understand how to uh, get into this scenario how to open 11th period for india how to open a second period for a us we'll see now just go on define a posting period variant this is just a small configuration you don't do much here uh, financial accounting financial accounting global settings ledgers and uh, fiscally run posting periods we are done with this right yes sir maintain a fiscal year we are done assignment we are done now there is a folder posting periods go there the first one is define variance of for open posting periods right yes sir this is what define a posting period variant just go inside new entries now tell me what is the name i have to give for a variant how many variants i should create now same as company code sir correct tell me the variant name in90 okay ppv in90 and uh, then us90 ppv in the sense posting period variant us90 enter just save it make sure your transport request yes then this already we have written in a excel file right yes sir this is a ppv now the this is simple just the name we don't do anything much now assign company cost to ppv right yes sir let's go into the system here back assign variance to company code this is nothing but assign a ppv to company code okay yes sir just go here this is also very simple find out your company code one by one in 90 for in 90 we created a posting period variant in 90 right yes sir for us 90 we have created a variant us 90 just give it and save it right yes sir done now let's write the relation right yes, one company code can be assigned to one ppv relation what is the relation we call it as it one to one is two Yes. Uh, one is two, one. One PPV can be assigned to multiple similar company codes. Relation one is to n. One is to n. If needed, simple logic. India in India, I have a. three company codes or maybe four company codes for four company codes the, the same logic right call periods is Jan, uh, sorry april to march same logic for a four company codes i can create a one common posting period variant and i can assign to them okay yes, that sir. is possible but nobody want that logic everybody prefer to have each company code Uh, same uh, separate posting period variant why i will tell you the real time example i'll tell you in 90 is there okay you know it right yes sir in maybe 80 is there ah uh, let's okay we are will use two examples 
IN 90 is one company code, Indian company code. IN 80 is another Indian company code. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's say one posting period variant can be assigned to similar multiple company codes, right? These two are Indian company codes. It means similar. They both have April to March. Then what I'll do is I'll create a PPV. I create a PPV. Uh, something like IN00 and I assign this to IN90 and IN80. Got it? Yes, sir. Done. Yes, sir. So, Later, I'll apply for IN IN00 PPV. I'll tell system open only period 11. I'll open the period 11. Done. Now, there will be a situation. Somebody from a IN90 company code accountant, he'll ask, hey, uh, sorry to ask you, but the thing is, in a period 10, what is the link? In a period 10, I missed to post one invoice. The invoice value is 5 lakhs. There is a 5 lakhs invoice which is related to January month which is a 10th period. I missed it. Can you please open a 10th period once so that I can post quickly the missing entry in IN90 company code he'll ask. Okay? Yes sir. He'll ask. Uh, he requests for a For period 10 open for some time only maybe with 5 minutes or 10 minutes just to post the missing entry right yes sir so what uh, what a business has to do in this case if anything has to open in a 10th period this ppv whatever a posting period variant we have given against this we should not close the current period current period should be remain open right Yes, sir. We can open 10th period and 11th period. For some time, we will also open 10th period. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you see what is a mess here is, you open 10th and 11th period, the same PPV assigned to IN80 also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, somebody intentionally, he can ask for IN90 approval and he can post in IN80 also, right? 10th period? Yes, sir. It will allow. There is no objection because for both company code, same posting period variant. In this variant, how you manage your periods, same applies to all the company codes, right? Yes, sir. So, there is a big problem, right? Yes, sir. To avoid this, if we have a dedicated IN90, for IN90 PPV only, I will open a period. Then, that is default assigned to IN90 company code only. They cannot go beyond that, right? Yes, sir. You got the control. Yes, sir. If I have an IN90 fiscal year variant, sorry, posting period variant, I'll open to this only, 10th period and, uh, and 11th period. Then other company codes won't impact and they cannot cheat us, right? Yes, sir. Accountants. Sometimes what they'll do is, it's not a cheating, to complete the work uh, in a hurry, what they'll do is, they'll take permission for one and they'll also do another, if you don't have a control. To avoid this and to have a more control, each company code, we have a separate posting period variant. Got it? Yes, sir. Why I told you this much explanation is, in interview, there will be cross questions. What you, why are you saying for each company code I should have a dedicated posting period variant? I can assign a same fiscal year variant for a multiple company codes. Why are you saying like that? Yes, we can do it, but the problem is if you assign the same to multiple companies, if there is any request to open a past periods, if you open for one company code, it doesn't apply for one. It applies all the company codes where this PPV is assigned. There could be a misuse. That is a reason we could have each company code one dedicated PPV. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys have to explain me. I'll ask everything, all the steps, step by step. I need to understand from you what is the benefit doing this configuration, step by step. 
you how to explain me in detail i last a uh, few few to you and a few topics to you uh, monday tomorrow is a holiday right yes sir to so spend time on the revisit everything damn sure i'll i'll ask okay yes sir okay sir next is 13th step define open and close periods this is where we open a period 11 for in 90 ppb and for us 90 period 2 we will open here this is a place okay yes sir here we open the current period against each ppv okay we have defined here a ppv we are assigned to company code now for this ppv is we open a current period here okay let's go here the minute you want to go it will ask under which uh, uh, posting period variant you want to maintain a period it will ask you see this is a place open and close periods if i click it it will ask first posting period variant tell me uh, under which posting period variant you want to maintain a periods maintain a periods is nothing but which period you want to open and keep it right for a business transaction so first we have to give indian ppv in 90 right yes sir enter after that everything is blank you just click on new entries so now the important uh, thing is you need to understand in sap how many types of accounts you have account type here right account type so these are the unique identifiers by seeing this every time you see if any account type a you have to read it as a means assets this is a sap language if you see a account type customers b k vendors m materials s gl account b is a contract account this terminology you have to remember lifelong until you work in sap this is how the account types of category in a sap okay yes sir yes sir why because in a, in, a, in general if you see in a finance what you have you have assets right yes sir assets is one topic asset accounting we have we have a customers customers is nothing but accounts receivable right yes sir vendors is nothing but accounts payable right yes sir materials are sub module mm material management yes gl means general ledger accounting that is the first topic we will learn right yes sir yes sir so that is the reason this account types you need to remember all the time account types slowly try to remember a if you see a a is a talking about assets if it is a d it's a talking about a customer if it is a m material you have to slowly get into this language and you have to remember okay yes sir now let's see why we have this many categories account types while opening a period why you have this many i'll tell you first let's do it if you select plus it means you are opening a particular period for all the account types this is a plus you can use a plus uh for all accounts will do a to z ah uh, what is a period in india what is a from period you open 11 right what is your yes. clear we are in 2022 11 2022 uh, the period 2 is the special periods of a closed physical year we'll talk about it just see i'll explain 16 2021 just enter do not okay you see how maintain for all accounts types from period is from period and to period should be current period right why we always open one period only right yes sir 
from means from which period to which period you want to open only current period you open for indian company code we are in a february 2023 it means february is for them it's a 11th period in a 2022 physical year you only open 11th period not any period else got it this is what the configuration we did so here if you see these are the special periods <coughs> special periods are four we have selected 13 to 16 right 13 14 15 16 right yes sir these are not needed for a current physical year right always special periods are needed for what closed physical year right yes sir if if your current physical year is 2022 obviously your previous physical year is what 2021 only right yes sir yes sir uh, it means in this case the requirement is okay current period you keep open special periods for you open for a closed physical year if we have any adjustments we post it business might ask you right yes sir if whatever a special period they want you to open that you open maybe they don't ask I don't want all four special periods, only open a 13th period. Then you add a 13th to 13th, right? Yes, sir. It means special period 13th only open. Or else, if they ask two periods open, special periods 13th and 14th, then you add a 13th and 14th, right? Yes, sir. So, your current physical year, current period you open, 11 to 11, you are telling to system. And special periods you told to 13th to 14th, right? Yes, sir. So, this you are doing against what? This posting period variant, right? Yes, sir. You are not doing the period open and close control. You are not doing against any company code, right? You are doing against the posting period variant. Then, this posting period already we assign to company code in this step, right? Assign. Yes, sir. Okay? Assign posting period variant to company code. Already you assigned. So, it means whatever the configuration you are doing here for which company code this was assigned for that company code this logic will work that simple got it yes sir that is the reason we should have a posting period variant also same as the company code so that you will not have any confusion right yes sir yes, sir. so then plus means all account types why again we have a separate account types? I'll tell you. First, we'll add them and we'll define a same period for them also. Assets. A in a sense, assets, right? Yes, sir. Assets. D, customer. K in a sense, vendors. Then M in a sense, material. S in a sense, GS. And V in a sense, contract accounts. This is a different part plus added for, so for all assets how many assets i have for all assets same logic same period should apply so i'll give one. a means a to z means consider everything okay yes, sir. copy the same periods control y select copy and paste it and uh, same logic all customers all materials all gl accounts for them same you give a to z a to z it means you consider everybody that's all okay yes sir for contract accounts you should not you no need to define from account and to account you just give a period you have added like this so now you can ask a question i'm just saving it already we have given plus plus in a sense what it includes all account types right we don't yes. need to have a differentiation we can go we can just do this and we can continue why are we doing separately again for each account type why any thought process any idea you have now what could be the reason uma devi any idea <laughs> i told you a similar explanation Sometime back. That I have told for a company code wise. Example I gave you. Why should we have a different PPV? I told, right? 
company code wise okay i'll tell you you see here if i have a plus what it means plus for all account types in in 90 company code because this posting period variant we assign to in 90 company code right yes sir dot accountant came and asked hey so in the last month in the 10th period i forgot to post a customer invoice what he said i forgot to post one customer invoice if we could open a 10th period i'll finish customer invoice quickly and inform you to close the 10th period he'll say right yes sir okay he got approvals managers approved to open a last period for a some time limit maybe 2 minutes or 3 minutes so what i'll do if i have a plus only maintain you think only we have this row we don't have another rows what i'll do to allow the last period i'll change 10 from period i'll make it as a 10 right it yes. means it allows 10th period and 11th period also right yes sir why it can add it hmm he last uh, customer and we open for all account types 10th period what happens what is the risk we have do we see any risk do we see any risk no sir no what about you uma devi if we give him permission for one thing he can do other things also no sir ah correct what is happening here Interest special game mark for delete. Okay, that was deletion mark. Uh, first, we'll do one thing. Skip it. Save it. Hmm. You were right. Go on. Yes, Go sir. On, he, will do, he will do other things also, no sir. Um, hmm. Because you can't see him while working, no sir. So the point is, he can ask. customers he asked what customers right yes sir he can post any vendor invoice he can post any material material invoice he can also post any gl invoice right yes sir anything he can do it right we don't have control if you have a plus what you do you open from period 10 and it is selected 10 just save it what happens if you have only this row system will allow you to post any account type related transaction in the 10th period and 11th period right yes sir yes. there could be a misuse if you have including uh, all account type if you also have individual account type wise system won't allow you with this configuration including this you have to open customer in a sense d right Yes, here you have to open 10 if you do like this only system will allow you to post only customers right if you yes. try to do vendors it will say vendor is only open 11 11 current period only right yes sir if you try to do any fraud also it will not allow you right yes sir that is the reason to have a control you have to have all account types wise period control and individual account type wise post in period control you should have that is the reason uh, maybe interviewer can ask you because you are a fresher right why we need to maintain each account type wise you know posting periods why can't i use plus if i use for a plus it applies to everybody right yes, then you have to explain the same explanation there could be a chance that particular account type related missing entries need to be posted in that time if you have only plus all account types won't be maintained if you open a previous period they'll use for any other account type also will not go and see his system right yes yes sir what he is posting so to avoid this confu- confusion if you have each account type is control if you open only customer means it will only allow customer only not more than that right yes sir now you got it how to maintain this yes sir 
So yes, 11 sir. to 11 only. Current period always, you remember, in a business or in any personal life, you are maintaining any expenses book. Okay, maybe you are in a February. Whatever happened in a February page only, you return. Not in a last month, right? January, you don't go on, right? right? Yes, sir. That is closed. Yes, For uh, January, what was the expenditure happened? You return. That's all. You signed. February page only, you have to write. Not in a March page also, right? Yes, sir. Likewise, business has to follow the same principles. The current month transactions have to recorded in a current month because <clears throat> there is an invoice. Invoice dated uh, December 1st. Auditor will ask definitely December, uh, the invoice printed as a 1st of a December 2022. That invoice posted accordingly in a December, right? Yes, sir. If you keep that until uh, maybe February, if you can post it. You can post it, but auditor will ask you why you are uh, following a, a negligence here, why you are not following best practices. Whenever invoice comes, that month only you have to post. Why this much laziness? This is not actually, he'll report, right? Yes, sir. That is the reason you have to record the transaction when actually it happens in your business, right? Yes, sir. Now done. We have defined for the IN90. Similarly, you just go back, whatever changes we did, save, just go back and see, IN90, how it was created, yes, plus for all, 11 period in 2022 fiscal year, special periods for a close of fiscal year, which is 21-21, and each account type is, we have added, just go back, again click on open and close periods, now, what is the fiscal year variant we have to use? Sorry, posting period variant. US 90. Correct. IN 90 we are done. US 90 you use it. The same logic. First plus. Uh, for US tell me what period we should open. Two. Correct. Physical year. 23. Correct. For them 23. Yes. Uh -huh. Two. Mm. 23. Mm. Special periods. 13. 2022, right? Yes, sir. Maybe they want only 13 special period only to open. You can give like this. Right? Yes, sir. That is the importance. You see, you got it now. For this US 90 posting period variance, we are doing like this. If I go and assign this US 90 uh, posting period variance to Indian company code, it will go wrong, right? Yes, sir. That's simple. That is the reason every company code should have a similar name posting period variant. And also should not have a confusion also, right? Yes, sir. Got it, Uma Devi? Yes, sir. Everything there is a purpose. Enter. I'll copy. Control Y to copy. You practice. And K customers, K vendors, M materials, S GL for V contract account. We don't need from account and to account. Just enter. Save it. Got it? Yes, sir. Now we are done with this. Next, go back to how many we have done? We have done 13 steps. Next, 14, define maybe tolerance groups. What is mean by tolerance group? Let's see it. What is mean by tolerance? What is the general meaning of a tolerance? Bharin Chadam, sir. Yes. Correct. Okay. Document. We will go to the document and the tolerance groups. Right. Tolerance groups. Define tolerance groups for a employees. Hmm. So, you told the how much uh, uh, limit 
or how much you can tolerate on something, right? Yes, sir. How much is the limit for a toleration? So let's say why we need this tolerance, define tolerance groups for employees. Employees, this is for employees. Let's say there is an invoice 1 lakh, there is an invoice 10 lakhs, there is an invoice 15 lakhs, there is an invoice 20 lakhs, right? Yes, sir. Invoice value, we cannot tell it's a fixed amount, right? Based yes. on the reality, the invoice value will have, right? Yes, sir. I am a fresher, I have joined just as a analyst or a maybe accounting language, maybe junior accountant. I am a junior accountant. I have just joined. Uh, will you give me 10 lakhs invoice copy and you ask me to post? No, sir. Why? What is the problem? Because 10 lakhs is a huge amount and uh, giving it to junior accountant is not... Hmm, not okay. Hmm. okay. He may make some mistakes while posting. Hmm. Correct, right? So, if I am a junior accountant, okay? You you place me in a payment section. <coughs> so instead of uh, 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 ten thousand, if I add two zeros, what happens? Huh? It will become a wrong, sir. No, sir. It will become a wrong. It will go ten lakhs, right? Yes, sir. So ten thousand. It if you add one zero, it will be lakh ten. Uh, ten lakhs. It will go right. Yes, sir. So, to avoid this confusion, right? To avoid this confusion, if I have a job role wise, if I limit the system, so and so a group of people, employees, you only allow up to 1 lakh. So and so people, you allow up to 5 lakhs. So and so people, you allow up to 10 lakhs. If I have this limit, if I assign this to your user ID, what system will take care of is if your user ID falls in that group while you are processing more than your limit also. If I have a limit to post up to 1 lakh only, my group, okay? Yes. Junior content group. If I go beyond, system will not allow, right? It will give yes. you an error. You are, you are reaching your limit. I will not allow you to post in a transaction. It will give you directly error, read only, right? Yes, sir. Then obviously he could not able to post. Then he'll give it to his superior, right? Who has a access, right? Yes, sir. Then superior will have a more knowledge. He'll do a further, you know, uh, checks and uh, if everything is right, he'll proceed. If his limit also not, you know, uh, uh, equal, then he has to go to his super uh, superior, right? Yes, sir. Likewise, if you have a control then you, there might be a you know, low risk. Uh, we can avoid uh, mistakes, right? Yes, sir. Simple example I'll tell you. Let's say groups like junior accountant, accountant, and maybe senior accountant, maybe manager, right? These are the tolerance groups. Under this, what is your ID? Maybe I'll write one ID. The login username, ID in a sense, got it? Yes, sir. User 1. Okay. User. These are user IDs, user 2. These two people belongs to junior accountant group. Next. User three user four this these two people are belongs to senior accountants okay yes sir manager is user five user six right yes sir for these guys will give up to the limit one lakh rupees any invoice okay with the limit of 1 lakh, they can post easily without any issue. System will allow for this group. 1 lakh is the limit. Maybe I'll add in the top. This is a limit. 1 lakh. 
maybe for this guy is 5 lakhs for this guy is uh, maybe 15 lakhs got it yes sir if i if i have a invoice copy with me user 1 he is a junior accountant i am posting a invoice if it is a 1 lakh and below i i am okay to post the transaction okay yes sir if it is even 1 1 indian rupee or 1 any currency is beyond your limit system won't allow you that invoice has to pass to the person who belongs to the next level group in this case senior accountant group okay yes sir this person can post up to 5 lakhs he can post from a 1 lakh to 5 lakhs he can post anything right yes sir next level is 15 lakhs he can post uh, 1 lakh 1 to 0 1 to up to 15 lakhs he can post the business transaction right yes sir so likewise we define a, a tolerance groups and uh, we give the limits in a tolerance groups and we assign to accountants accordingly so we'll get the list from a business who is belongs to this group who is belongs to this group who is belong to this group and accordingly we'll assign then system will control the real time postings right yes sir let's say i am a junior accountant if if we don't have this what is the problem i'll tell you i am a junior accountant so i am getting every month a office building rent invoice okay from a owner i'll receive the rent receipt from a owner i'll post every month entry in a system okay simple example yes sir every month rent will be coming as a 20000 what is it 20000 is a monthly rent for office building so due to some reason all of sudden while giving the you know, uh, rent receipt from the owner by mistake he added one more zero into it what happens it will become two lakhs right yes sir i don't have any brainer because i am a junior account my job is whatever invoice i'll get i have to post in a system right yes sir what i'll do uh, i have a two lakhs invoice in my hand i'll just go and post the rent two lakhs then one more junior uh, accountant is there what he'll do his job is to make a payments to the vendors let's say one person posted a, a rent invoice for two lakhs the other person what he does he saw two lakhs is a liability to pay to the house owner right yes sir immediately he make a payment what is yes sir i made a mistake i posted two lakhs that guy posted payment right yes sir oh so later we'll recover from a, a owner that is secondary thing but you understand so every month it is coming at twenty thousand. why all of a sudden it became a two lakhs this is a wrong you can understand by experience right yes sir yes sir so if system would stop him he has only limit up to one lakh so what would have done system would have stopped him right if you have this control you are not allowed to post more than one lakh immediately he'll get a error he'll not post the entry he has to inform that to senior accountant he'll go to senior accountant and he'll tell hey i'm getting this error please uh, can you post that guy will see and check hey man this is a wrong invoice why uh, the rent is two lakhs it's a twenty thousand it's a mistake you inform the oh, uh, the building owner to give the revised invoice copy with the twenty thousand okay yes sir yes sir this kind of you know mistakes can happen that is the reason based on a job rule they'll have the limits okay See. Now let's see where is it? Uh, so the path is like this financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, and document. Under the document, you have a tolerance group. Now you see, define tolerance groups for employees. We are defining. In one company code, you can have a multiple tolerance groups, okay? Based on a, uh, the job roles they have, okay? Yes, sir. 
now let, let's click on a new entries i am i am writing a group name as junior accountant jrc okay yes sir company code in 90 first enter so what is the limit we we would have only one lakh will allow right yes sir one lakh uh, amount for a document what amount for a open item what you will not understand now only this point you see how much value we are allowing for that particular group of employees okay yes sir what is the cash discount also you will not understand now again we'll come to this definitely we have to come here we'll discuss this okay yes sir i give jrc is a group this is a jrc and i give a one line next maybe one more i'll create yes SRC will create one more. For that, we'll give the limit five lakhs. Okay, save it. Yes. Just come back. Trace SRC and company code IN90. Enter. This is five lakhs, right? Yes, sir. Five lakhs. Done. Save it. Two are done. Next thing is we have to add a user IDs into the group, right? You see, yes. assign user tolerance groups. Next step is assign user to the tolerance groups. Let's say I am taking a my ID as a reference okay you remember my idea i am adding in which category accordingly <coughs> it will work okay yes sir my id is scp you can add your id and you can test okay yes sir uh, scp user 126 i just go assign New entries. My username is what? I need to give user. Uh, sorry, not user. Sep user 126. And belongs to which tolerance group? If I am a junior accountant, my ID should be JRC. Got it? Yes, sir. If I am a senior accountant, it will be SRC. Maybe I am a junior accountant. I am into JRC, tolerance group for employees. Okay? Yes, sir. JRC. We could not post a transaction now immediately. We'll post it. While posting, we'll see. I'll try to do more than one lakh. I'll get a error. Okay? Yes, sir. Data is saved. So, we are almost in time. Next is, there are a few more steps. 16. Define document types and number ranges. Uh, one move we missed. P status variant, then assign it FSB to company codes. Then JS to item categories. Okay. These are the four steps or remaining. We'll cover them in a Monday. But you guys prefer so far what have we discussed? Theory you have to prepare and practically you do it. Okay. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's connect on Monday. Uh, Uma Devi, you just be there.